What you cooking, Roach? What ya cooking, Roach? What's up, guys? And welcome to my channel, What You Cooking, Roach. All right? And for those that are new to my channel, welcome. I appreciate the love. So please consider subscribing and leave a comment and tell me what you think. And word up to me. Give me that thumbs up, all right? And click that reminder bell so you don't miss out on any of my other videos, okay? So... Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make black eyed pea and tomato salsa. That's right. Although most traditional salsas consist of chilies, onion, and tomatoes, many of today's salsas are made of uncooked fruit or vegetables. And consistency ranges from thick sauce to a reddish like chopped mixture. Okay? So, this salsa you can put, serve over grilled pork, boneless chicken, and leave a little extra for some dip. Okay? If you like with some tortilla chips. All right, so we got some cilantro, we got our onion, we got our tomatoes, we got our black eyed peas, and cumin, garlic, and that Canadian bacon. So let's get started. First, we're gonna chop one cup of Canadian style bacon. Now, I don't know why they call this bacon, because it's ham to me. So we're gonna chop that up into little slices, all right? That's gonna be one cup. Now we're going to move over to the onion. That's also going to be a cup of onion. I like to chop mine kind of chunky. All right. Now we're going to move over to the jalapeno peppers. Now I use a whole jalapeno pepper because we like our spicy. So you can omit it if you don't want the peppers in there. But that's what we do over here. And that's how I make this salsa. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to move over to the cilantro. And that's going to be about a half a cup of cilantro that I'm going to use because we like cilantro over here. I suggest letting your cilantro dry out. It makes it easier to cut, okay? As you see, mine's still kind of wet. <laughs> All right. So we're going to put in a little bacon fat drippings into my frying pan here so we can get started with these ingredients. So we're going to start out with that onion and then we're going to add in the bacon and then I'm going to add in some garlic and we're going to saute all this for about five minutes. So. Let's get that Canadian bacon in there, aka ham. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stir that up real good and get those mixed flavors mixed in there. All right, now we're gonna move over to adding in some ground pepper. Now I'll have the ingredients in the description below, but this is about one four teaspoon. I might add a little bit more in there. So I'll make a little extra. I'm just going to stir that up really well. Now we're going to add in that uh, garlic that I mentioned. Two cloves or you can use Miss um, Garlic already prepared. That's about two tablespoons that I entered into that. All right. Now we're going to get that cumin in there. It's one for a teaspoon of that. I always add a little extra ingredients just a guideline. But you start out and you can add more. All right. Now we're going to add in those black eyed peas and bacon flavor. Mmm, yummy. Probably should have had an extra can of beans in here, but it'll do. All right. Now we're going to move over to those tomatoes. Now you can use, I use a whole can of tomatoes and the, the one, you get 14 ounce can, but um, this is a bigger can because I'm making more. So you're just going to chop that up real well. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to bring this to a boil. All right, and then when we're going to set it to the side, and we're going to add our cilantro and jalapenos. All right, all right, you guys. So we're just going to bring this to a boil, and then we're going to move over to the next step. Okay, now just about done there. All right, there, y'all. It smells so good now. Now I've added that uh, cilantro and uh, jalapeno in there. I'm gonna give it a taste to see where it's at. All right, now this is going to have to, you guys are going to have to cover this and let it chill for at least an hour or to eight hours, you know, to get the flavors really in there. Mmm, dang, this is good. Mmm, pour this in the bowl real quick. And you can serve it warm too. Uh, like I said, you can serve it over pork or chicken. You, I, I, I've um, even cooked pork in it, you know, like a stew like, because this, I'm telling you, though, this salsa is really good. All right, you can do a lot with it. All right, so you just want to, you can store it in the refrigerator. You know, the last for a week or so. Ours don't last that long. But look at that. Look at that. Don't that look good? Mm. You know you want to try it. Go ahead and try it out, you guys. And let me know what you think. Like I said, you can mix it in with stew. Uh, th the base of this salsa is can be used in a lot of different ways. All right? Look how delicious that looks. Let me get my chips so I can get something to eat over here, y'all. All right, y'all. There you go. So, you guys, thanks for watching. 
and please subscribe. Okay, you guys? And thanks for watching What You Cooking, Roach. Bye-bye.